Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our webinar about uh, the artificial intelligence in ESG investing. Uh, I'm Chris Krzysztof Jajuga. I'm president of CFSA Poland. With me is Wojciech Zdunkiewicz from Quantfin Corporation. And we will be guiding you through main parts of this competition. Uh, we think that this will be exciting type of competition, very unique, because we try to combine two things. On one hand, the growing business of artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, due to the development of technology. And secondly, a topic which became very hot in the last few years in investment markets, which is ESG, environmental social governance issues. So this is a new competition. Two years ago, we, we cooperated in the competition about quant investing. We decided now to ex explore this more, extend this more, include ESG components. Uh, before we start, I would like to mention a few things. First of all, that uh, we are, of course, organizers, Quantfin and Society of Poland. Our strategic partner is ING. And then we have partners. Uh, thank you very much for joining for this competition. Bank Gospodarstwa Krajowego, EY. Gilda Papieru Wartościowy, Warsaw Stock Exchange, and then NN Investment Partners. Also, one more remark that I'm, I'm, I would like to give you is the one that you are welcome to ask questions on chat. These questions then will be sent to, 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 to us, and we'll try to answer during this, uh, during this webinar. Also, of course, there will be web, website later given, as well as email addresses. You can ask any questions about this, not only during this webinar, but also after this. So without undue delay, let me, let me start with the presentation. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so uh, first uh, information about us, I would like to mention that CFA Society Poland uh, was established in, 16 years ago, almost 17 years ago, we are the mem we are one of the member societies of the CF Institute, and uh, this organization most of you probably know it, but if you don't know, I just want to mention that uh, CFA program and CFA certificate is recognized all over the world. Our organization is present in 70 countries now, having member societies, and together is uh, more than 185,000 finance professionals who belong to CF Institute. Our most important issue is the promoting ethical standard, educational standard in Poland. And that's one of the reasons that we decided to continue cooperation with Quantfin about you know, education, because the competition leads to, obviously, to higher education of investment professionals. So Wojciech, I would like to, you to say a few words about, about uh, you and the, your, your organization before of we course, start uh, with the presentation of competition. Of course, uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon to all. Uh, yeah, Quantum, Quantum Foundation was established in uh, 2012 in the response of challenges uh, in a quantitative approach to the financial markets. Uh, the aim of the foundation is to provide a platform for the ambitious students of the quantitative methods, meaning maths, uh, physics, uh, IT2, and quantitative methods in finance. Uh, to develop their interests and find the best workplace. And one of the reasons we, we took a part with this competition is to, 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 to find a platform for, for uh, interest uh, students in, in this uh, area. Thank you very much, Wojciech. I think that this is a good idea to explore this uh, quantitative types of thinking and in investing. Uh, now with the, again, with the Development of technology is even much easier to use it. So that was the reason that we decided to, to build this competition. Well, in the competition, as I mentioned, connecting these two things seems to be very fundamental and this seems to be a very important trend. We could see now that ESG is no longer you know, something that was interesting maybe, but now it gives a profit. So according to different research all over the world, the companies, the, the financial institutions, the investment funds, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, investing in ESG stuff, they are getting quite nice results. So this is no longer only kind of important from the point of view of social issues that we have to develop ESG because it's important for the world, 
but it's also important from the point of view of profit. Well, uh, this is the first, as I mentioned before, this type of competition we think is the first competition of this kind in Europe. So it will, it will be some kind of pioneering event. Uh, it consists in building ESG index. So this will be your task, the, the, the different teams that will participate based on financial, non-financial, also different alternative data, as well as assessing the effectiveness of using ESG criteria in the investment process. Details will be coming in a moment, but uh, the competition, what is very important, is dedicated to students on one hand from Poland, but since this is in foreign language, also to other university students from CE region, Central Eastern Europe, we particularly stress the faculties of economics, finance, quantitative methods and management, but I think it's not limited. If there are other types of faculties would be interested, they are welcome to also to join us for this competition. So back to you, Wojciech. Uh, thank you. So the, the main task for, for the competition that what was mentioned is to build a kind of uh, ESG index or ESG factor uh, based on those alternative data and uh, financial and non-financial data and find a way to evaluate the effectiveness of, of using those data into the investment process. So we spread the competition to two phases. Phase number one, uh, we want to check your idea, your creativity. Uh, to find uh, and develop and, and describe the at least two variables we might use uh, and uh, as a as a ESG criteria uh, based on those financial non financial alternative data. Mm, so this is the phase number one. Then when we want to to, to for from you to, to create a list of those variables, then we um, evaluate those ideas and choose the six best best reports and best uh, best ideas and best teams to start developing the phase number one and number two, when, where we have this AI ML component, because we want to want from you based on your, your proposed uh, variables to build the quantitative methods and models uh, based on those ML, ML, ML techniques we have right now to evaluate the results uh, of those variables into investment process and build a kind of a strategy on investing uh, based on those variables. And then uh, those six finalists will do, will present the solution on our joint conference to, together with uh, CFA and present those solutions in the phase number two. So back to you. Okay, thank you very much. As you could see, as audience may could see that this is this follows the general format of many competitions. That there are two stages. The first stage is the, the where anybody can participate but only the best teams will go to the second stage. The same is for other competitions, also organized by CFA, like CFA Research Challenge or Ethics Challenge, but also the competitions that at least students from Poland know from, from you know, competitions that are being held in Polish. So this is always these two, two stages. So in each stage, each team will prepare a written report in the form of publication, and the report should meet specific requirements and then this is, you know, these requirements are mentioned here. Of course, they, they will be available, distributed to, to all teams that are registered. First of all, there should be title page, obviously, uh, name and team and summary, some kind of summary of the solution. Then there should be solution of the task, which should not exceed, you know, some number of pages. So it will be rather very short, concise, and kind of, you know, summary, also summary, but extended summary. And then there is the technical documentation form of attachments. Of course, you will work very hard to get to the solution, and it would be extremely good if you provide documentation that you prepare in the process of, of, of preparing your report. Solution, now about solution, which will be in, in the B, in this report will be B, the second part, let's say. This is description of data and variables that were used in this indicator, this, this index building processes and in the process also evaluating the effectiveness with using ESG criteria. So that will be the first. Secondly, you have to describe, of course, the methods. You use methodology, which was, which was, which will be used, oh, sorry, it will be used because that's future. Uh, this indicator, this index, uh, of course, uh, this is, there should be some rules when you, when you build this indicator, there should be objective criteria. So it should be something that's measurable. 
And finally, uh, numerical results, of course. What is also important, and that you, you probably are expecting this, that this will be written in English, right? So the, the competition is in English. This should be written by also team members, so not external help, but in phase two, the teams will be assigned a mentor. That's all, again, following some, some rules of this competition when there are mentors. This should be based on existing research, however, so it should be own work, so no plagiarism, obviously, uh, and stuff like this. And then also, the, 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 they should be prepared from the perspective of an independent market analyst. So not much buy side or sell side, it would be from, from independent side, so something that can be used very extensively left later. So over to you, Wojciech. Uh, so we are inviting you to, to this uh, uh, competition. Uh, you have to uh, have at least four members of the team, uh, regardless uh, the, the university. So we encourage you to, to, to have a mi mixed teams of uh, different universities. You might need at least a bachelor or a master uh, for now. And as, as Professor said, uh, at least uh, you might have an opportunity to have a university mentor for, for this competition. And what we are preparing for you, because it, it might sound uh, a little bit new for you, we create a, a study support resources for the competition. It is available on, on the competition website right now. So you have the resources plus the abstract of those resources created by, by, by us for, for, for you. Over to you. Okay, thank you very much. It's good always to have a mentor who looks what you are doing and uh, um, great mixing teams, uh, you know, from different universities would be very fruitful here. This is not the case of many other competition where the team should be from the same university. But now we think that since this is a combination of finance, of quantitative stuff, uh, maybe a little bit even of general social economics, uh, that would be nice to, to have a synergy of the students from different universities. Well, what are the benefits for students? Of course, competition should lead to some benefits that are, first of all, financial awards. The three best teams, they will get monetary financial prize. Then, of course, um, it could be a short publication. And possibly you can, if you are interested in this area, you can then extend this and those students who would like to go into more into research in their future, maybe writing doctoral theses or, or something like this, or doing research for financial institution, for you it will be very good already background and good base to do this. And finally, of course, internship. Partners will, are offering you internship, which will put you more asset into your CV. But also, it's not only CV presenting in the form, in the formal form, but it's also your skills and knowledge that you, that you learn, and you can you can you can show this then when you have an interview uh, with the company, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So these are benefits, and I strongly encourage you to 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 start. Uh, Wojciech, over to you. Schedule. So today we start the registra registration. Uh, there we have two and a half months preparing and thinking of, of the of the solution for the phase number one. And then you have one additional month for, for preparing and sending the report and 6th of April this year. Then we have one month for, for assessment process, one, one and a half month, a week after, for this. We announce the winners half uh, April this year and we go to the phase number two. Uh, and you have uh, additional two weeks to, 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 to develop additional, actually uh, one month to, to develop the solution for the phase number number two. Uh, and then we have uh, additional one week for the assessment and the winner's announcement in the presentation ceremony uh, May this year. So this is about the schedule. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, this is the long, the several months but you know, part of this is just your registration, and the work is only limited, limited time, one month for the for the first phase, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, how to participate? Well, you have to register, and registration starts from from you know from today, basically, 19th of January. Uh, there is the there is a web sorry there is first of all email address office cfa.com.com.pl, and then. Uh, 
we, you will be contacted when you register. You, you will be contacted just to confirm, and then for for next stages, there is of course already launched the official website. So you know this information that we provided now, and this is also recorded, so that could, you could go later on to 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 listen to what we said. But there is official website. There's plenty of information. What you mentioned also some help. So that um, I strongly encourage you to. Um, to basically to to, to uh, just go to this website, you can ask questions anytime. You know our office is at your disposal. And um, what what can I say more? I'm just I'm just uh, um, encouraging you to do this. So uh, if Wojtek wants to add some things, I, I over to Wojtek. But you have also here contact persons. There are contact persons from side of CFA society, Monica, executive director, Jakub, communication coordinator, and also we have project managers from from Quantfin, so there are addresses, so you're welcome to start. Basically, also, I if you have any questions, if they are in the chat, I think we can maybe now de answer these questions, if there are any, but I'm just um, now moving back to uh, to, our, to to simply to our main scheme and then uh, okay if you have any questions you're welcome to ask I'm just looking at the information that I'm... yes I think there are there are questions but at this moment <laughs> they say that there are no questions well you can still ask the question anytime we are strongly open to this and then I think maybe at the moment. I would like to thank Wojciech, first of all, for partnering. And I would like to, to thank all audience, either now or the audience who will be looking or listening to this presentation later on, because we live stream it, live stream it and we record it. And I wish you good luck, good luck in the competition. I remember the competition two years ago, there was just quant. There was no so much, there was not at all ESG. And there was mainly quant stuff, and with some glimpse of artificial intelligence, obviously, we it, we think that this year will be something more even more exciting. So thank you very much, and um, good luck. I wish you good health, first of all. Thank you. Right. Thank you.